Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Minecraft video. As you can see um, up here, it, I am in the latest Minecraft um, snapshot for 1.13. And 1.13, there's a lot of new changes that have got me confused, and I'm sure if you do stuff with command blocks, you also are confused. For example, um, giving items and entities a uh, name. Like, it's, it's a little bit different, but it's not that hard. Um, all you really have to do here is... I have a thing that you set up in here. Um, it's basically the same, except now name is actually one of these Telraw things. It was like this JSON thing here. As you can see, you just have to escape it with backslashes, and which actually makes it easier to uh, give yourself colored names. You don't have to use the sign exploit anymore, so, which is pretty cool. So. And you don't need to do this, but you can change the color, for example, like bam, now red. For items, you can also like. Uh, anyways, um, <coughs> okay. Bam. Go. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> That's how you get colored item names. Now, with entities, it's basically the same thing, except that the custom name is now this. And let me just put this in. This backslash U00A7 is the color code sign. And you can put. Let's see. So, yep, you can actually make name for. So yeah, just use the JSON text thing in custom name and display and that's how you get the colored item names and entity names. Alright, so now, and then also another thing I want to talk about is falling sand blocks. They also changed this so it's a little bit different, you don't just use block you now use something called block state, which is a lot more efficient, I think, because um, as you can see, block state is, is the tag here, the name, which basically just tells you what kind of block it is. That's so redstone lab, for example, or like a bit time of block. But how do you get, let's say, I don't know, uh, a lit furnace, for example? Because you can't, you don't just give yourself a lit furnace anymore. You, just, you have to give yourself a furnace and then put its properties. For example, just here. As you can see there's no lit anything. So, so, so if you click here and you can see lit, right? It's, it's false true and stuff. So, um, how do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. And here, as you can see, um, this properties tag, which basically controls all of um, your properties. Um, for example, I can also, let's see, what else is Or a furnace, yeah, so it's a furnace. Let's see your furnace. <coughs> you want it to face west, okay? So, all you have to do is put a comma facing west. Now, if you do that, it's perfect. Alright. Um, you don't actually have to put this quote on the First one, you don't. You can actually just leave it like this. Like, for example, 
this will still work, but these must be kept with with the quotes, even if it's like a fully or like a true, for example. If you do that, then it's not gonna work. You have to make sure you quote some of the quotes. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.